It's good to be back. Hey everybody, Alex here. And I'm doing a request, a pretty popular request here. Today we're doing TensorFlow. We're doing a pretty heavy duty test. It's gonna make this machine very, very loud. And this, by the way, is the um, Asus Rogue Strix with the Ryzen 9 5900HX. And here's the kicker. We're doing a GPU test today, right? So we're gonna be running this TensorFlow process on the GPU of the M1 Max and comparing it to the RTX 3070, which is on this machine right here. This one's gonna be really hot, really loud. This one, probably not so. And this test is courtesy of Thomas Capel, who is uh, responsible for creating this repository, which is keeping track of all these benchmarks. You can check it out. I'll link to it down below. Basically, here is the instructions on how to set this up. I've set this up on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip in it. 32 GPU cores inside of that machine, 64 gigs of RAM. Basically, it's the maxed out max. If you want to follow along, you can also get down to this repository, clone the repo, and install it yourself and see how fast it runs on your machine. I'm using Conda to set up the environment, by the way, and if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that, I'll link to it down below as well. And that sets up a Python environment that's isolated uh, with its own dependencies installed for that environment. And this repo actually tells you how to do that as well. The only difference between the runs on these machines is that on the M1 Max, this is gonna run natively, but on the Ubuntu machine here, it's going to run in a Docker container. A little bit ago, I did the exact same test comparing the M1 MacBook Air to the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip in it and the M1 Max. We can already have the results for the M1 Max if you've seen that video. But today we're racing these two machines machines. And I alluded to in the previous video that if you have an RTX 3070 or 3080 card that has CUDA cores in it that are geared and optimized to run this. So it's going to be faster. How much faster it is? That's what we'll find out today. And we're going to use our special friend here. Yeah, I know that that's kind of creepy, but I felt like it gave it a more human touch since we already have a name for this guy. Thanks to all those who voted in the poll. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Schwarzenegger. This is going to be what executes our test. <laughs> we got to have a little fun around here, don't we? All right, without further ado, let's set this up on the M1 Max. And the command to run this is Python and then you give it the Python script that you want to run. And then you typically want to send in the name of your GPU, like my GPU. Previously, I sent in M1 Max so that the results can be collated and tracked. And uh, now I'm just running this for fun, so it doesn't matter. And then the dash dash trainable flag also. Okay, so I've set that up. Now I need to set it up on the Linux machine, which is a little bit different. So here I need to kick up the uh, process for Docker. And I've already downloaded the image for this that uh, contains all the TensorFlow prerequisites. And I've installed the CUDA TensorFlow uh, prerequisites as well. It's all in the instructions. You can go and read that. By the way, thanks to Thomas for helping me set this up as well. So here's the command to run the Docker container. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now we're inside the container and we've mapped the volume to our code directory. So I'm gonna go back there uh, to the code directory. And this is basically the same code that we've cloned from the repository. So now the command is going to be pretty much the same. So in this case, I'm gonna give it the name RTX 3070 trainable. All right, now we're ready to go. There is one more flag that you can include on the RTX machine, and I'm gonna show that later after this test is done. That'll blow you away. But before that, I just wanna compare how these two exact same commands, how they compare on these two machines. Okay, now this does have three fingers, but we only have two machines today, so that should be enough. All right, what do we got here? We got everything set up correctly, let's go. They're off to the races, and this should take a number of minutes, so I'll be back. What the heck is going on here? Uh, Schwarzenegger, you're letting me down. This is not what I expected, and I don't know what the heck is going on, but <laughs> the M1 Max finished first. It finished already. It finished with all 10 epochs, and this one is still working. By the way, the M1 Max is at 67 degrees, fan spinning. It was about 3,600, now it's down to 2,800, 27, slowing down a little bit here. I'm using TG Pro, by the way, to figure out the temperature and the fan speed. Ugh, RTX 3070, what's going on here? I can turn this up to max, and now you'll hear the fan. So that'll cool the system down faster. And TG Pro lets me do that. Link in the description down below if you wanna check out a copy for yourself. So yeah, the, you can see the RPM is now at full speed, 5,500 RPM, but the temperature is going down much faster. So it's cooling down a bit. 
I'm gonna switch this back to system, let it cool down the rest of the way naturally. And now the noise is gone from the M1 Max MacBook Pro. If you hear any noise, which you probably do, the microphone is right here. It's coming from this Asus machine, pretty loud. By the way, the Asus machine, it's very plasticky feeling, but it gets the job done and that's why I have it. I often use the RTX 3070 GPU for uh, some of the processing that I do for uh, a project that I'm working on and it works really fast. In fact, it was a ton faster than my Intel MacBook Pro for AI processing tasks. But uh, maybe I should try the M1 Max next. I don't know. All right, it's about time and this thing is just wrapping up. That took a while. All right, so here's the summary and this was a total shocker to me. 11 minutes total on the M1 Max for the same exact process. 11 minutes. The same exact process that took 16 minutes and 58 seconds on the RTX 3070. What's up with that? So a little bit of a disappointment, but there is another card up my sleeve. Dash dash FP16. This is the flag specifically for the RTX cards that allow you to use the tensor cores on the GPU. And the instructions can tell you how to do that as well. So it's just FP16. I'm gonna run this one more time. You don't have to watch this part. Actually, I'm just gonna cut this part out, edit it out, and I'll be back right after this. Why did that sound like uh, I'm doing a commercial or something? I'm not going to a commercial. I don't have commercials. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> All right, it'll be done in a second. And we're done. Nine minutes and 40 seconds on the RTX 3070 with that flag. So we, you need that flag for the optimizations to kick in, yet it is not that much faster. It is faster than the M1 Max, but yet it's not that much faster. We're talking about a difference of uh, one minute and 20 seconds. I don't know, whatever the percentage is, you can calculate it. Maybe I'll calculate it, leave it up here. But the GPUs in the M1 Max are usable for AI work. And this kind of proves it. So this is pretty good. This is good news. At least for those of us that are interested in buying the M1 machines, the Apple Silicon machines, and uh, the ones that want to use it for this kind of work. TensorFlow is currently supported. And if anybody's using PyTorch out there, it's not yet supported. But they're working hard on it to get it going. And as soon as they do, I'll hopefully make a video on that because I'm really curious about that myself. Did this video help you out? Give you some information, something useful? I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.